good old Kit Kat, that's what I say. So on this video, we've got these Kit Kat senses, they're new. So you might have seen we done the Kit Kat chocolatier, which was given to me as a, a gift at Christmas a few weeks ago. Uh, we put that video up. Kit Kat are branching out, they're branching out. They've got these senses, they're out in three flavors. There's an Easter bunny out as well, which Adam has either reviewed or is gonna be coming up soon. These Kit Kat senses, they come in three flavors. So this is uh, salted caramel, They've got a cookie dough flavor and they've got millionaire shortbread. Now for obvious reasons, being an ex-millionaire, that's the one I wanted to try, to be fair. But they didn't have them. I went to one Asda yesterday, they had the millionaire shortbread, put it in my basket, paid for it, got home. It wasn't in my shopping bag. I was furious, but it weren't on the receipt either. So I don't understand where that's gone. Went to a different Asda today, because I have none really locally, but I have some sometimes that I'm passing through somewhere. They didn't have the uh, millionaire shortbread, they had this salty caramel. You know me and Adam, I think salty caramel is overhyped. But I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna taste it and it'd probably be nice. The cookie dough one, I'm not so sure. But go out and buy these, these are £1.50 for a box. Now I have had a little sneak peek inside. Now this box, I think is where your money's going. Because look at that. It's like a proper presentation box. It's still in another wrapper inside the well-made, perforated, lidded, Kit Kat Senses box. And then it comes out with your four, five individual bars in there. So you've then got to open this. They could do with that the plastic base, couldn't they? Let's be honest. And there you have what is basically a bog standard Kit Kat bar, two finger job. Kit Kat Senses with your salted caramel written on the side there. Let's dive in and see if they're hype. Is worth it, and as I say, fair play to Kit Kat for branching out from just a, a wafer that everybody likes to trying a few things differently. Oh, you can smell the caramel. You really, really can. Has it got the snap? Listen to that. And there's your inside. Now it looks like there's more chocolate than your average Kit Kat. Now we all know that Kit Kats are made from Kit Kats. Them layers of wafer are made from all the rejected ones. That doesn't seem to have the layers. I'd imagine that's to get the flavours in. Lots of chocolate. Kit Kats are brilliant for chocolate, especially the chunky ones. You tell me who doesn't eat it like that. But all little bits off the edge. Anyway. The Kit Kat flavour's there, the wafer's there, the salted caramel is there, 100% it's there, and on a personal level, I don't like it very much, but that's because I don't like salted caramel, and it's not salted caramel that I can taste, it's just caramel, you wouldn't have salted to be fair, but the caramel's giving the humble original Kit Kat an almost sickly flavour to it. Now that's just personal opinion. I think these will go down well. And out of the three flavours, I think it might be the most popular. I would have preferred the Millionaire Shortbread. That would be me. I imagine that the biscuit inside may well be a shortcake, shortbread shortcake. But I don't know without trying it. Someone let us know. But they're good. I can see them being a big seller because it's something a bit different, like I say, from your normal Kit Kat. But I bet the whole thing, look at that. I've melted really quick. And I'm talking in my mouth all sorry. It's that chocolate fix I can't get enough. They're a winner winner chicken dinner, even if this particular flavour isn't my own personal favourite. Go and buy some because I think you're going to love them. I'll see you next time.